Step 3. Creating Interior Elevations In this step, we will find out more about ARCHICAD's Interior Elevation tool. All interior elevations of a room can be created with a single click. Their content can be automatically generated and automatically updated, so they will always reflect the latest stage of the project. Select the first preset view in the Interior Elevations folder of the Navigator view map. Select the Interior Elevation tool in the toolbox. Activate the Interior Elevation 1 Favorite in the Favorites palette. Open the Interior Elevation Settings dialog. At the top of the General Panel, you can see buttons near the Reference ID and Name fields. These are buttons to create auto text entries for the fields. Interior elevations are created in groups. For a rectangular room, you can create all four interior elevations in one step if you wish. Click Cancel to leave the dialog and return to the floor plan. Make sure that the rectangular geometry method is selected in the info box. Click at the points of labels 1.1 and 1.2 to specify the diagonal of the rectangle. Finally, click at label 1.3 to define the location of interior elevation lines. The defined rectangle will determine the limits of how wide the elevations look. The third click defined how far the interior elevation lines are from these limit lines perpendicularly. The interior elevation lines are all placed and their reference IDs automatically numbered. Switch to the project map of the navigator. Open the interior elevations container in the list. Open the tea kitchen interior elevation to display its content. As you can see, the four interior elevations are placed in one group. Thus, the elevations can be handled together when you name them, assign numbers to them, or place them on layouts and so on. Switch back to the view map of the navigator. Select the 6.3.2 preset view in the interior elevations folder of the view map. Shift click to select the interior elevation line at label 1.1. Then click the line to start dragging it. Finally, click at label 1.2 to finish dragging it to that location. Click elsewhere to deselect the line. Do the same with the interior elevation line at label 2.1. Right click on interior elevation line IE0104 and select Open Interior Elevation from the context menu to open it. You can now see the tea kitchen furniture we created in a previous chapter. Zoom in to get a clearer view of the details. Go back to the floor plan. This concludes Chapter 6.